Uh, hi, this is Jacek at OptiTech again. Uh, we are continuing our quest to find out uh, the exact nature of focus issues we have with, uh, with our lens on the camera. In previous videos we determined that the camera back focus was okay. We checked it with our optimator and then uh, we put a lens on it and we, did, uh, we found that the lens was off. Now, a couple of notes. Um, lenses uh, usually, we, if we talk about still camera lenses, usually they are set by the manufacturers to be a little short. Uh, the reason being, um, it, it, this way the infinity is always guaranteed. If there is a dirt between the lens and the camera flange, if the lens usually when they loosen up they go long, so even if the lens wears out a bit, the infinity is always guaranteed. This is fine for autofocus still cameras, but it's not preferred for um, for a motion picture. Motion picture, the focus is continually changed uh, while uh, you know, the image is being recorded and if it's bad then um, uh, the picture is not going to look good uh, with manual focusing lenses. Uh, so uh, we do need our focus, our back focus on the lens to be precise and correct uh, and exact. Um, there is several ways to do it, uh, to check the back focus on the lens. Uh, one of the ways is a traditional collimator. This is what a collimator looks like. Oh, this is a type of uh, collimator called um, autocollimator and because it's a vertical, it's a vertical uh, autocollimator. Uh, the way this works is there is a, a, a light source right here uh, and then there is a, a semi-transparent target that is Right in this area, it's, um, and uh, this the placement of the of the target is very precisely related to where this uh, objective is, um, and then the image is projected from this objective, uh, and uh, um, through this lens. So let me just put this lens on. I think it's a little bit. through the lens and bounces off a mirror that's on the bottom here. The position of that mirror is determined by uh, this little scale here. So that tells us the back focus error. Uh, and then it bounces back and goes back through the lens and it bounces off a, a prism and we can see it in this little eyepiece right here. This is why it's called autocollimator. The image actually goes through the lens twice. And if the, there is an error where the, where the sharp image forms uh, uh, in the distance from this sitting surface here to the mirror, then that error is doubled because the, uh, the lens goes through the I mean the image goes through the so it's easier to see. Anyway, um, we, this is just a short explanation how the image is uh, tested, uh, traditionally how the lenses are checked. Um, we are not going to do that today. Uh, we have a different way of doing it. Uh, that we came up with. Um, it's more suitable for digital cameras. What we came up with here is a very direct and uh, uh, simple to understand way of testing back focus on the lens. Uh, basically we are using an off-the-shelf um, e-mount camera. Uh, we, we added a little wireless receiver to it so we don't have to have you know trip over uh, cords when we um, when we testing um, uh, and the reason we have a e-mount camera is because we can put an adapter on it uh, that we want and we are going to test an EF mount lens our lens that was off in the previous videos so uh, we need an EF to e-mount adapter uh, and, uh, and we have one here except that this is a special adapter designed and built purposely for testing uh, back focus on lenses. Uh, the, um, it features a very unique uh, mechanism that uh, changes, uh, it's a, it basically adjustable thickness of that adapter or adjustable height. Um, so that we can change the back focus, I mean we can change the flange depth of the camera effectively. Uh, also uh, it is, uh, the way when we change it we can read the, the amount of change in this little scale um, 
basically we change it by rotating this this uh, ring with a lever and then there is a little scale that um, shows us um, how far off or how far we changed it. There is a zero uh, and then uh, numbers from one to six going each direction. There's a, I put a little tape on here to help us with determination whether the is short or long, plus and minus. Basically that's very simple. So, and of course uh, in order to, for us to see it easier to just be very transparent and very um, legible, uh, we will um, we will send this high definition image from this little camera onto a monitor. So in order to see the uh, our image and be able to easily see the focus changes, we need to we need a monitor, and it's just the way it works the best. So we here at Optitech offer this uh, field test kit with a, a standalone wireless receiver with a, mo a high definition monitor built in, a uh, battery pack inside that so it could be used without any cord. The idea was to uh, just make it simple and, and uh, don't tangle into ca cables and cords and no need for external power. Um, yet being able to just take it anywhere and uh, be able to test the camera and the lens. So there is a sp there's space in this case for our uh, camera uh, with the test adapter, there is an optimator in here, and of course a screen, a high resolution screen, battery pack. Uh, so next we are going to point the lens at the chart and show how to find out how far off our lens is, and uh, which direction, and uh, then we'll be talking about uh, and do and and make actually making the adjustment.